Welcome back to Getting Nerdy MTG. I'm Possum. Today we're going to open up a pre-release kit from Dominaria United. Uh, this set, uh, it's very legendary based. I want to say actually each pack is supposed to be is uh, has one at least one legendary creature or one legendary card in it. Uh, the most expensive regular art card in the set is Liliana, the, Liliana of the Veil, vale, sitting at around thirty-seven dollars. Uh, the there is only one uncommon in the as far as regular art works, not foil or anything like that, that meets our one dollar threshold. That is the Relic of Legends, sitting at around a dollar and a half. Uh, and just to give you an idea on the commons, the most expensive common in this set is only worth about 20 cents. Uh, but in every pre-release kit, uh, you get one dice, uh, spin down, 20-sided dice. Uh, the idea of pre-release or sealed in general is you open up your kit you have six packs plus a time-stamped pre-release foil. Open these six packs. That is your card pool. Build a minimum 40 card deck, uh, whatever you can come up with, and then play a tournament with said deck. Uh, I'm gonna start showing the arena codes. I, I don't use these, I, to put it bluntly, I don't have time. To play arena anymore so uh first guy that gets this put in or first person that gets this put in uh, gets some free stuff on arena uh, our pre-release for this set is uh the phasing of zalfur uh, they brought back sagas uh, specifically they also added the read ahead chapter so when you play this saga, you can skip ahead to whichever chapter you would like to start out on. We can get started with the actual packs. And so we're not going to really bother with any of the commons. Uh, and the only uncommon we'll really mention is the Relic of Legends. Uh, every pack we also get a token and a basic land. Kind of standard for the uh, standard legal sets. Commons. There are uncommons. We've got the Shieldred's Restoration. Territorial Morrow and Najal the Storm Runner. First rare is the Timeless Lotus, uh, one of the better mythics. Pack two. And get my Piles situated over here. There's Crystal Got Grotto, the most expensive common, sitting at, like I said, right at like 20, maybe 22 cents. But pre release kits are really not about the value. It's typically done at the week before the actual release of the set. Uh, this set was fully released this week or this weekend. Uh, I don't like to show any values until a set is fully out just because everything's kind of speculative. You can't officially buy any of it on the secondary at that time anyway. TCG doesn't even list the actual... You can pre-order cards through TCG at that time. But the prices are usually typically very 
inflated. Uh, let's see, joint exploration. Got a second mythic. Soul of Wind Grace. And a foil Radiant Grove. Uh, like, so I really don't mess with any kind of pricing or anything until a set is fully released. Uh, I refuse to sell cards even privately until that point. <laughs> Another Crystal Grotto. Make sure I haven't passed any of the relics. None in that one. Nope, none there. And braids for the Frightful Return. Another one of the sagas with the read ahead mechanic. Knight of Dawn's Light, and Arulik Mon's Warren Chief. <laughs> three packs, three mythics. Uh, I would say this would have been a, a pretty good kit to open of uh, Vesuvian Diplomacy. Or Diplomancy. Sorry, Vesuvian Diplomancy. Into a tribute to Urborg. <laughs> Another crystal grotto. Walking Bulwark. Frost Fist Strider. Raph Weatherlight Stalwart in the stained glass. And our, our first actual rare out of four packs is the Cruelty of Gix. I say first rare because like I said, we're guaranteed one rare or mythic per pack. And so far, most of those have been mythics. And I want to say some pretty decent mythics. And they brought back lightning strike. Got a Micromancer, Knight of Dusk's Shadow, and a Rona Shieldred's Faithful. And the rare is the Phasing of Zalfer, uh, same card as our pre release. Like I said, that pre release, so it will be in foil. Uh, and it will also be time stamped as far as the year. Last pack. Resolute Reinforcements, Strength of the Coalition, and a Wing Mantle Chaplain. Rares in the Stained Glass artwork, the Sten Paranoid Partisan. And a Foil Monstrous War Leech. Uh, like I said, value-wise, I would have been ecstatic to open this at pre-release. Uh, plus, it's some pretty decent playable stuff. 
Uh, but to open six packs and get three mythics, uh, that's not too bad. But that's it for today. Uh, YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, share. And we'll talk to y'all next time. Have a good day.